We're live again, and this time I'm going to actually say a few things before I sit here looking like a zombie. <laughs> <laughs> you go for it. Good evening, it's Friday evening, and what a wonderful way to spend the evening than um, spending 20 minutes, 30 minutes, who knows, listening to us. Oh, hi everyone. Hi again from, from London, and here we are, Jenny's and me. Um, having a wonderful start of a new topic, a new conversation. And tonight we're going to talk about success and fulfillment. Yeah. Which you might think is the same thing or not. What's the difference? What's the difference between success and fulfillment? Well, I am. Um and again, it will be different for everybody. But I yeah. think these are questions that you... So we talked last time we talked about time, energy and money. Um, and that was good. hopefully that had some value and you, you're you utilizing um, those three things because outside of health, I think those are really three important areas to to um, to think about when you make decisions. You know, is it worth my time? Is it worth my energy? Is it worth my money? And success and fulfillment, I think, follows on really well. Uh, and it's something that I'm asked quite a lot. So outside of being actors, we do other stuff uh, to to um, keep ourselves busy, to share our experience, our knowledge, our expertise, and um, and I coach. I coach, and I coach in a few areas. One of them is combat, combat sports, martial arts, and the other areas I'm a life coach. And I do corporate, uh, a little bit of corporate coaching, a little bit, little bit of executive coaching, and I do a little bit of um, just individuals who are looking to reconnect or to get clear about how to move forward and grow, improve. Yeah. in different areas but clarity and you know it's something that I think a lot of us at times don't have so there's a few things success and fulfillment what does it mean um, what's the difference mainly I want to know what's the difference uh, not that I don't know I have my idea but you go first I, I think they're very, I think they're very, for me they're very different things I think you can be successful in areas but it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be fulfilled um, so and I've experienced it personally I've experienced it with people that I've been around by friends, family, um, and through two people that I've coached. And so being successful could be very different for me than it is for you. Uh, being fulfilled is obviously very different for me than it is for you. But I think if my focus of success is monetary things, money, then I'm probably not going to be very fulfilled for very long. Because there's always going to be, I'll tell you a little story. I am, um, true story, uh, somebody I know who is a billionaire uh, and a guy that I know who's a multi-millionaire wanted to have dinner with the guy I know who's a billionaire and the connection is me between the two of them. So for about six months this guy, it's funny I didn't think about this it, but it's actually just popped in my head, this guy <laughs> would sort of say hey when can we go to dinner with, you know, we could be arranged a dinner because I really would like to chat. They've never met before. They've never met before, but they both knew of each other. Well, yeah, they one the multi millionaire knew that I was coaching the, the billionaire. And um, anyway, long story short, I said to this guy, I mean, let's call him D, and we'll call the other guy R. So the multi millionaire is R, and the billionaire is D. I don't want to give any names. <laughs> so R, multi millionaire, um, finally got his. Uh, dream day to have dinner with the D. the billionaire <laughs> and we went out to a very nice restaurant and it was so interesting to watch just the way he behaved because it was appalling it was what did just you do? appalling he was trying to um he was trying to to prove himself at dinner and trying to sort of like build a relationship with somebody he obviously wants to do some form of business with but ideally this was his kind of like, I want to be you, I need to have more, I need to be like you, I need to, I need to be the billionaire. Anyway, me and Dee stayed on after he left, um, and it was an interesting dinner, and he went away, I think, feeling that it was a great success, and that Dee had... Did he pitch him his business uh, ideas and him, stuff? He pitched him everything. He pitched his soul to him. Rather than getting <laughs> to know the individual, he just pitched stuff, he just so, tried to sell. Oh, after. that's so wrong, he's just... And, um, it was that kind of whole thing where like sort of money shouts and wealth whispers and it was really uncomfortable to be around um, and my and D who and this is already a successful guy very successful <laughs> and he D who's very connected with himself and has you know spent years really sort of working on that kind of question success and fulfillment I actually felt sorry for him 
um, and is not somebody you'd want to do business with, interestingly. So, I, I, you know, so it's interesting. I think if, you're, if, you're, if your focus is goal-based, and we talked about this the other night, but I think if your focus is goal-based, like what's going to make me feel successful and fulfilled is goal-based, um, I'm not sure that delivers either. So I think I touched on last time about curiosity versus passion. Mm -hmm. You know, if, you're, if you have your purpose and your passion, like, you know, people talk about purpose, purpose and passion. But what if you don't have that? <laughs> What if you don't have your passion? What if you don't know what if it is? If you don't know what it is, you got to be curious to make your life more interesting. Yeah, you need to Curious in everything. Just go explore. But how liberating, right? The fact that you just can go exploring and, 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 um, and, and maybe find that passion along the, the way. The passion is something that you feel energized after you do it. You feel uplifted. You yeah. feel like, oh my God, I want to do it again. It doesn't feel like work. But it could be your, I mean, it, it could be the thing you do. I, you know, I just write or I just act or I just, I just come up with ideas for things. That's, you know, but there is no pigeonhole really. You don't have to be pigeonholed. I don't think you have to be pigeonholed in anything. You can, you can be good at a number, number of things if you apply yourself. We live a very long time and not a very long time, but we live a long time in the scheme of things. You could master a number of things during your lifespan. And that's where curiosity is good. So success and fulfillment, I think, is something that's really important for all of us to understand because, you know, if we're, we're successful but not fulfilled, we can become quite destructive, self-destructive. Um, and I, I realised something over the last couple of years that I'm kind of growth-oriented. I'm not goal-oriented because goals are very short. You know, you set yourself a, a target, a goal, you achieve it. And then you go on hiatus, or you go, you get to a goal, you achieve it, and you settle. So, can we explain success as something when you achieve your goals, you feel successful for a moment? Um, and there's always going to be like talking about your two contexts, the billionaire and millionaire. There's always somebody richer than you, more famous than you, with a bigger house, a nicer car. It's just it depends what level you aim to. But if you're not grateful for what you have, You'll never be fulfilled. Yeah, gra gratitude is so important. You can't be miserable and grateful. <laughs> you know, gratitude is really, really important, and that you know. So to be grateful for things is, 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 is I think essential. Um, and that's why you. It's like I think that's the right. But approach. people, are like, well, what can I be grateful for? Well, if you're healthy. Oh, that's a massive. Well, there's the number one thing: be grateful. Yeah. You know, I my dad passed away, and I think I mentioned a few times, but I remember just my dad couldn't do much for himself and so he had you know he literally couldn't get himself a bed he couldn't feed himself he and I used to sit there thinking you know what we take for granted you know and if you're able to stand up right now and walk to that bathroom and make yourself a sandwich be grateful because there there is there are people out there who can't do the the basic essential things that on a normal weekly daily basis they just can't do the basic things that you know we take for granted you get up or go out imagine you're just stuck and you're f the frustration that would come with that so there's something to be grateful for your health the massive wealth of being healthy yeah um and i've met people uh including a hotelier who um very uh very successful but not very well uh, and would give everything billions to be healthy Mm -hmm. uh, so it's that, so health is the number one thing, so gratitude and be, to be grateful is very, very important. Um, but to be successful, we should, be, to be successful and to be fulfilled, yeah, they are, they're two very, very different things because if you're successful and your success is based on monetary or financial, but you're miserable and I, you know... Or career goals. You know, it's... It, it, yeah. Fulfillment is the number one thing, right? To be happy, to be content, to be, you know, I think we, we can always go after things, but to, to, to be fulfilled is far more important than the, the, what, we, what most people would summarize as being successful, which is normally around a certain form of wealth or comfort. Um, and how can you be happy? Well, you can't be, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's... Gratitude, we mentioned one. You know, you, you, there are so many examples of people who are so wealthy, but so unhappy. Who are people who are so, so wealthy, the ones who are very wealthy and very happy, 
but generally the ones that really contribute as well I've, I've come to realize you know actually extending out and, and, and assisting individuals and others groups without any expectation of return they contribute to society they have a really large social footprint um, and that's something that we can all do. I, I, I go, so there's a, an organisation called Inspire the Future and every now and again I'll do, do stuff for them or I'll, or I'll do stuff locally to local schools. I'll go in and speak for an hour. We did a workshop together yeah. to a local school. You know, not because we wanted to get any exposure out of it or to, you know, we just... It was fun, we just talking to the kids, doing the exercises together. Yeah. Well, you just go and contribute and that's very filling. Um, does it, you know, do I have to be... Do I have to be uber successful? Like, you know, do I have to have a million to my bank account? Do I have to have a massive match? No. I, anyone could do that. Anyone could do it. Yeah. You have a, an area of expertise or an experience and exposure. You can go and reach out to college students, to, to um, junior schools. You can volunteer your time uh, anywhere to, to, be, to, 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 to feel that you make a difference on the, in, in the world. And that, also, that, that leans, into, to, I think, to the fulfillment camp. Success is a different thing because you can be successful in areas and it isn't money orientated. You know, you can be, like I was an athlete, I was a fighter and I was successful as a fighter. So it fulfilled me because I, I achieved some goals, but it didn't reward me financially because it's a poor man's sport, kickboxing is a poor man's sport. But I was fulfilled. But then it's done and you're like, wow, I've got this whole life ahead of me. Tell us about that interview you got. You got interviewed when you won the world championship and you felt really sad. Yeah. You achieved your lifetime so, goal well, till then. Yeah. Till that One point. of my goals was to, was to win, a, win, a, win a world title and I, I won a world title and, and it was, there was a sadness because in the, real, the, in the re realization of the achievement, it's done. All those years, all that focus, all that training, all that sweat, all those tears, all that sacrifice, in that moment, is done. And yeah, you could have another fight, and another fight, and another fight, but to maintain it, it's never ever <laughs> going to be the same. Yeah. But that was the success. You achieved your goal. That for for that moment, that was like the success. But I wasn't fulfilled. Interesting, huh? Because because life goes on. So I think if you're growth oriented, if, you, if, you, if, if your focus and purpose is around growth, well, it's never ending. No. But if it's goal focused, well then like, some issues arrive because we can achieve most things, we really can. And then what? Um, so it's being aware of those things. I also think that, you know, it's a funny one because when you, when you work in and around people on a daily, weekly basis, there's this kind of idea that we need to be 100%, we need to feel wonderful, great, every day. And I think that, that creates a big problem because if, you, because if you feel that you need to feel great every day, you're very likely to break down in some shape or form. That's not unhuman, we mentioned that last time as well. It's not human, it's okay to feel lethargic and sad sometimes and just acknowledge it you know acknowledge that feeling that you don't feel great today um, and you don't have to be great all the time you know so if I'm going to go on to set and deliver a, and I need to be 100% then but after I've done my job and I do get big come down sometimes after performing but I acknowledge it I just feel lethargic because I've exerted myself and I feel tired emotionally physically tired because I put a lot in and you, you've delivered. No different to competing. Um, and then you've, but if I was like, well, why am I feeling like this? If I was beating myself up to ask myself, why am I feeling like this? When I just accept it, I'm, you know, I've exerted myself. I'm a little bit tired and maybe a bit exhausted. And it's quite emotional um, because you've, you've, you know, you've delivered at a high level um, under a lot of pressure. Uh, and you just accept, I'm, I feel a bit, I'm going to just switch off. I'm going to do something for fun. I'm going to watch some TV or I might. Does know. that mean you like enjoy the journey and then when you arrive to the end of it, it's, you, you just acknowledge the 
the sadness that comes with the end of something. Like for example, when I'm on a project, I really enjoy the the journey of it, the meeting the new people, creating something together, playing new lives, if it's a film or TV project or theater. And at the end, I really don't care when the movie is out. Of course, it's nice to meet everyone again after a year or two and see the project, but I really have to say I really enjoyed the, those months together. Yeah. And I'm really sad when it's a wrap. <laughs> and I, it's kind of, oh, okay. <coughs> so we, we did it, now it's in the can, and we're all really sad <laughs> because it's done and it's over. So, but the same goes with anything. I think, I think like if you don't enjoy the journey, then you're not fulfilled, and you don't arrive to the success. Yeah, and I think with everything, the journey is always where the gems are. It's not really the the, the achieving the goal, even though the purpose is to achieve the goal. But actually, all the juice and all the joy is all in the journey. It's when you get to that goal and you look back, actually the the most wonderful moments were in that journey. Um, so a few things come to mind. I think that, you know, because I ask myself a lot of questions and I think the one of the most important things for me as an individual is that I think it's really important to add value. So whenever I go into something or somewhere, I just ask, how can I add value? How can I be, you know, the best me and give a hundred percent and come away knowing that I gave everything that I could. Now I may not be the, the, the greatest at certain things, but I always know that if I'm involved and engaged, I will give a hundred percent and that's all I can do really. And I'm, I always hope that I'm adding value. Um, I think regarding fulfillment, we could also mention, um, investing in relationships, which is not, doesn't mean only like love relationships, but friendship, relationship with your parents, relationship with your kids, with your neighbors, um, just to acknowledge people around you and uh, add value to their relationship. And just then you th I think there's more fulfillment in your life. Oh good, yeah, if, you, if you're connecting, I mean there's a funny saying, you know, in a relationship, if you're living together, are you living together or dying together? Oh, that's important one. <laughs> Ask that question every day. <laughs> and I do think that, um, you know, the, the fulfillment comes through relationships, you know, relationship with yourself and relationship with other people and the impact you have on other people. Uh, there was a, I was talking to a guy not so long ago, it was a funeral old man had died in the area and um, there were hundreds of people turned up for his funeral he's not a celebrity he's not you know anybody I've ever heard of but apparently because I was new to the area at the time this was a guy who spoke to everybody who helped everybody who always was nice to everybody and that had you know he was in he was in, involved he was a special part of so many different lives that when he passed away, and his day was never empty, he was never alone, <laughs> but when he passed away, the streets were full. Just because he gave time and energy to others. And I was like, wow. And he lived in the same house for about 40 odd years, <laughs> um, which was not a mansion. Uh, apparently was always happy. Uh, and I assume it sounds like was so fulfilled if I was to, you know, if was he successful? Well, I think he's, my take on it would be be highly successful because, mm -hmm. you know, if over a hundred people turn up to your funeral, you were loved, and that's pretty amazing. It's pretty fulfilling. So people who never met each other as well, not our relatives, like completely unknown, right? Uh, the people that turned out, no, some have never, they, they, all their, their... Family was surprised, like, who are you? <laughs> yeah, why is the, the church full, why the street street full? Because, you know, they, they couldn't get everybody into the church. Um, and it's because of his social footprint. You know, his engagement on a daily basis with just about everybody that he came into contact with. So he obviously didn't, and he was the, a, a widow. His wife had died, I think, 10 years before him. So, you know, that's a massive social footprint. So these are all kind of really strong guides and messages of, you know, where we look to for our kind of, you know, how we live our lives and how we can maybe utilize some of that information. Um, 
contribute, be grateful? Yeah, so I, I have a little saying, it's like grow, expand, contribute. Um, and I, you know, it makes sense to me. Uh, you know, if we're not growing, well, we're dying, right? I believe. If we're not expanding, you know, our horizons, then life could be pretty boring. And that's a choice, because, you know, we are, we're in a day and age where so many things are accessible. You want to learn an instrument? Well, for go free, on go on YouTube, you learn <laughs> guitar. I mean, there's, you want to learn a language or an accent? Go on YouTube. There's like, I mean, there are people who've given their time to, hey, let me share. You know, I was trying to fix the toilet the other day, and somebody, you know, let me just, ah, oh, someone show me how to fix the toilet. It's, you know, somebody has gone, hey. Uh, Everything is on YouTube. YouTube is like Google. I worked it out. Let me share it with somebody else. So there's so much that we can learn from those. So things are so accessible. So we, um, we, we, there aren't, there isn't much we can't get on and start and do. Um, and in that process, you know, if you're not, if you don't have your purpose, your passion, I do this and this is all I want to do, which you hear something that's wonderful. But if you don't have that, then we're curious and we go off and we explore and we find things and we, we then they build new relationships and stuff. And, um, and then hopefully through that journey, we find fulfillment, you know, in the fact that we're just on a journey, the fact that we're just exploring, it could be very fulfilling. The moment we start to wait for, wait, wait, you know, my life is not important or worthwhile because I haven't made a million or two million or 10 million. I don't drive the most expensive car and I don't live in the kind of house I wanted to. But hear this, I believe anything is possible. And I'll tell you why, because I've proven it to myself and I keep proving it. I set goals and I make them a reality. I left school when I was 15 years old, without an education really. I've worked in so many different arenas. Um, I've done, I've taken lots of risks with my body, with my health, because I thought it was a, was a pro fighter. And I've collated stories and I, you know, I write and I produce and I own a business and I invest in property and I, and I have constantly evolved and grown and, and, and moved forwards. And it's all by choice and it's all by telling myself that anything really is possible. And believe me, I have had down, down, down hard times. But for whatever reason, there's a voice inside that says, "Keep going. Keep moving forwards. Because you can take you side are. steps. You can move forwards, but just don't go back. Refuse to go back. Um, because you're growth oriented. Yeah, and that's what you know we're talking about. So, like, and I do think it's because my focus is growth. It's not goal, or you know, I'm not focused on the goal. You gotta have goals. Yes. But it always changes. And you can't be focused only on that. You just on the journey, only you're growing every day, doing something new. Use your curiosity, don't let it sleep, <laughs> hibernate there, because otherwise it's really, really boring. Well, and don't get me wrong, some people can find boring their why. You know, someone's dream could be to do X, Y, Z and just have the same job for the 50 years, retire, and then have a pension and take three holidays a year. And that's fine if that's your thing. Um, I think in our lifespan, the most important thing to avoid is regret. Mm -hmm. And so while we have time and energy on our side, we can always make money. You can make money doing anything. You can make money collecting and selling rubbish. You can make money selling coffees. You can make money doing anything but time and energy. While you have that, anything really is possible. The difference is whether or not you're willing to, 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 you know, to take action, to go to work. And through that, we find our successes and ultimately our fulfillment. For me, my fulfillment comes through relationships. I, you know, my, I feel fulfilled when I'm with the people that I love, the family around me and like good friends, um, that for me is fulfilling. 
when people think think of you when you get that invite to something and it's really uh, it's really lovely to be invited to something because they generally want you there want you there and they so excited you I find that very fulfilling material things houses cars I'm not completely monetary motivated I mean money's important to me but it's not my focus uh, maybe that's right or wrong but for me it's not where I'm at I don't know what your I'm not answering that question but it's your but yeah I'd much rather spend quality time with people and create moments and that's my fulfillment yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's yours? Well, briefly, because we got to conclude for tonight. Uh, for me, the success is um, probably in sh is like short time, a short term happiness is when when I achieve the goal and I feel really happy in that moment, couple of days. Fulfillment is a long term um, journey. It's something um, you invest every day. Definitely using the growth, enjoying the journey, invest um, in relationships because um, like personally, I, I was, there was a time in my life, not very long ago, when career-wise I was successful for what I, I achieved, what I set my, myself to do. Um, and it, I was, I, like uh, if somebody was in my place they would have said oh you should be really really happy and I wasn't because um, because like emotionally and personally I I wasn't in love with uh, I, I didn't have a person to share my success in my career uh, like somebody to be honest about it and celebrate together and it felt really lonely and I f I was so unhappy in the in the most like top while I was on top projects in my career <laughs> personally unhappy obviously I enjoyed being uh, working with people I worked with but when I was coming home after long days of work I was like okay now what it's really sad so that made, it, made me understand that it's not all about work it's not all about financial well-being it's mainly about spiritual being and personal like family love mainly invest be honest in a relationship really don't hide your feelings if you really like somebody and love somebody show them that just don't play this bullshit games and uh, not showing who is texting who is calling who is just all this so here's the thing, right? you, you, you <laughs> Layers can be, you can be in a long-term relationship, you can be married and be lonely because there's a disconnect mm -hmm. um, and again it's, that's not fulfilling exactly. in any shape or form. So you know it's, it's facing up to those things and having those, those hard conversations. You know uh, there are a few things but one thing, I, it's always really good to be kind to others and really important to be kind to yourself. But it's also really important to be honest with yourself. And I'm talking from a place of experience. I've had, I've been, I've had the hardest times and the most wonderful times. But through those hard times, I've grown. <laughs> and the part of the reason why we're doing what we're doing now is we're just sharing some of these journeys, these experiences. I would love to hear your story. Yeah. Or just feel free to comment. Some of our expertise um, and also hoping in some shape or form that these videos will live out in the world and add value to somebody yeah yes and on that note <laughs> again uh, the last one to mention again ask yourself the question are you living together or dying together in a relationship in yeah. a relationship <laughs> yes because we just said that again and um Regarding next time conversation, feel free to throw into the comments any topic you'd like us to talk about. Yeah, so we thought it'd be nice to throw out to the people who've been watching. And I know we have a very small sort of audience watching live, and then we have a massive audience watching after the event, like, you know, over a thousand in, on, in some cases. So we have a task for you. Given what we do and have exposure, and that's acting, we write a bit, we produce a bit, 
we have a, I have an extensive knowledge of kind of like fitness and mind and body, including life coaching. Um, Sylvia speaks five languages. Uh, <laughs> Act and produce. <laughs> yeah, maybe do a little. Uh, throw out to us what you would like us to talk about. And we'll talk about it. So that would be together. interesting. interesting. <laughs> Even if it's a startup business or a business because I've been involved in startups, whatever it is, if we can get a couple of um, suggestions, we'll pick one and, and we'll have a conversation about it. And then um, hopefully, again, it will add value in some shape or form. But until then... Until then, thank you for watching. Have an amazing weekend and um, see you very soon. And on that last note, I really hope you noticed I shaved because I shaved. <laughs> you look totally different. I know, I'm like a different you. person. It's me, it's Jake Sturbs. person. It's me. <laughs> it is me. Very soft. Until next time. <laughs> see you.